Hey guys, the objective of this video is to find the moments caused by the earthquake along grid line 2. So just to show you, give you a bit of a summary of where we're at. From the lateral loading, we had a diagram like this, a section like this, with 76, 76, 76, 76, 42 and 42 is on the end. And that was the shear from, from the lateral loading. From the torsion in the previous video, we just found to be 18.6 and 18.6, okay? So now what we're going to do is we're going to find the moments caused by these shear forces in the columns, all right? So we're going to find the moments in the beams. So what I'm going to do just first of all is just add everything up. So all I've done here is 76 plus 18.6. So from those two there, we get around 95, okay? So 95, 95, 95, 95. And these are obviously just staying at 42 because there's no shear forces there. So that would be a diagram of grid line two on level one. Okay, so we're doing it level one. Now, a moment we know is just a force times a distance. So we're gonna be finding the moments at these points over there, all right? So we're gonna to have to multiply this force by its distance and that force by its distance. So I've got H1 and H2. Now, places of zero bending moment in a column are replaced with pins, all right? So I've drawn little pins there and that's where zero bending moment is. So if you think about it, when you have zero bending moment, it's essentially like you have a pin. If you have, if I try to do it with my finger here, if this is a pin, a pin joint with my finger, if I push it over there, there's obviously zero bending moment because it's allowed to rotate, all right? So all I'm doing is I'm places of zero bending moments, which I don't know where that is just yet. We're gonna see it now. But places of zero bending moment in the column, we're just replacing with the pin, okay? Now, generally speaking, that the location of that pin when you go from ground to level one is going to be 0 0.3 the height of the column okay we know the column is 3.5 meters all right so the column distance is 3.5 so that pin over there is going to be 0.3 times 